Hey guys, welcome to Angel Angela, and as you can see, today's video is going to be about narcissists preying on the young and the weak. So, on this video, I want to target um, the young ladies around 14, all the way up until 30. Um... A lot of older people have been through this experience with the narcissist and sometimes they've been into these relationships a lot longer. And um, I know a lot of times we like to believe that we know everything until we start actually going through situations that make us realize that we actually had to learn from them because we didn't want to listen or we didn't want to take advice from other people. And um, I wanted to target younger women because um, it's easier to manipulate you and um, narcissists know if you're not damaged, um, <clears throat> most likely they're going to have to deal with more issues. So um, that means they're going to have to work harder, um, you know. And when you're younger, <clears throat> there's sorry about that, you guys. There's certain things that um, you won't really pay attention to. Because as a young lady, you're living in the moment. You're going out with your friends. You're meeting new people. Um, you're going to concerts and going to parties and just um, want to have a spontaneous night where we don't really know what's going to happen. Um, we just want to have fun and see where the night goes. Not knowing that a lot of that um, type of behavior actually attracts um, predators to us. <clears throat> and they actually enjoy um, watching you. I mean, you could be friends with them online and they live in a whole nother country or state. And they're making you believe that they are in love with you and or they have strong feelings for you they want to they'll even come um move to your country or move to your state or come visit you but it's only to come to that area because they've always wanted to you know go there it's like if you tell them oh I live in New York they're going to say that they were going to go down there soon they were planning a trip um, or as you get to know them, they'll act like they want to come to see you. Meanwhile, they're speaking to you. They're also looking for other supply. So um, if you're wondering why your partner is there one minute, the next minute they're absent, one minute they're irritated, um, and you realize that when you speak about your dreams, um, and your amb the things that you really want, um, it seems like they don't really care. They'll say they support you, but then they won't show it. Um, they won't show up in the moments where you really need them. Um, there's going to be moments where... You might have a test and you're in college and um, you're going through finals and that's going to be the moment where they leave you, especially because as a young lady, they know that um, you can make it far in life, that you have so much um, ambition and if you do have people around you that support you, they hate you for that. And they're going to try everything in their power to make sure that you fail. And then once they succeed, 
they'll leave you again and they'll make you feel like you're the problem and you have issues and um, you're trying to project those issues onto them. Meanwhile, they were projecting that to you, making you feel crazy. So <clears throat> a lot of people think that um, because they're younger and maybe the narcissist, you know, has went through his share of relationships, it makes him feel, um, they make you feel like um, they've lived you know, a long life, they've had many relationships, and it was all just to meet you, and there's something special about you because you're young, and um, next thing you know, um, you're in a roller coaster with someone that is jealous of you, and um, that is constantly putting you down, and then um, they might be telling you that no one's going to love you the same way, they love bomb you. They won't. Um, they'll show up at your at your job. They'll sh they'll show up at your car. They'll go to all the places that you they know that you hang out at, and um, they will go over and above for you. They'll bring you flowers. They'll um, take you to dinner um, to a really nice five star restaurant, and. Um, they might introduce you to things that you've never done before. And you start to feel like someone cares. <clears throat> so they are very good at making you believe that. And you're actually believing it because it, it sounds good. It, it feels good to have someone um, chase after you, but... As soon as that door opens for them, they're back um, talking crazy and um, giving you looks and um, saying disrespectful things, um, joking around and saying that they're not serious, but you know, that's really how they feel. Um, they target young girls because... They envy you. They envy the things that they can't be. Um, every narcissist has a story. They won't tell you their whole story. Um, they won't even tell you 50% of their story. That's how much they don't check in. And I actually advise a lot of you young girls to um, do background checks on every single guy that you deal with. And <clears throat> I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm kind of sick right now. But I really advise you guys to um, do background checks on people. Um, my dad actually was the one to tell me that. And I, I, the narcissist that I knew had stuff on his record. And he had told me he had never like been to jail or anything like that. So um, they'll they'll have stuff on their record for um, maybe assault and stuff like that or stalking, whatever. I don't know. Um, but they'll have they'll they these people have episodes where they just explode. They start going off. And if you really pay attention even to their flying monkeys when they um, go off like that, their flying monkeys already know um, how they are. They know how angry he can get or she can get. They already know. So this is nothing new. This person um, will put in the work to be with you and eventually something happens and they want you to stick it out with them. They want you, um, they want to build a connection with you. And um, in reality, they're just plotting on you. Meanwhile, um, the time is going and um, you have a gut feeling 
and you know you shouldn't go, you, you know you should go, you know you should leave, you know you should actually run, you know you should be running for your life, and you try to leave, you try to run, but somehow <clears throat> these people come back around begging, crying, you will see tears in their eyes, they will get on their knees, they will hold you, and call themselves stupid and say that they know that they effed up. Um, they will do practically anything. It's like uh, they're leeches. They leech onto everyone. They leech onto people so that you can't move on to the higher um, to your higher self. Um, they're dream killers. They they come to snatch your dreams. They are trying to stop you from whatever goals you set out for yourself. Because a lot of us um, wanted to get out of the situation we were in. All of us wanted a better life for ourselves. And they preyed on that. That's what they do. Um, they try to do this to everyone. And once you have a kid by them... Um, they 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 like to triangulate everyone the kids mothers um the new supply with past supply um and meanwhile they're arguing they've already moved on to the next supply so as a young lady um or as you're maturing from from being weak at one point, now you have developed strength to um, endure this type of deceit and um, betrayal by someone to actually be able to um, know what evil is. We always have our um, beliefs of what we think until we experience life for ourselves. Sometimes you might grow up one religion and you might get older and you, you're not that religion anymore. Or um, one day you're working at a bank and then you decide you want to be a hippie and travel the world. I mean, everything, it's, it's supposed to change you. You're supposed to find yourself and... Um, just your experience, it, it's not a conviction to them. It's about knowing that there is an enemy um, after you and that not only is that person using this person to get to you, but um, the enemy is using the people that you care to um, bring you down, but that's why you have to fight. And um, once you fight and you and you um, start moving forward, you can't get anything till you start moving forward. And once you start moving forward, um, everything changes. Your life changes. Um, you start reaping um, all the seeds that you you put down. Um, that's why it's so important to forgive. To forgive um, yourself as well. Um, this is um, definitely one of those things that um, it happens vice versa with these men who they prey on on the young and and the weak, um, and vice versa with. Women, they they prey on weak men, older men. Um, this is just the kind of world we live in, guys. And I know that um, there is a disappointment in growing and learning and um, waking up. Because a lot of these people aren't awake. They're going back and forth with these narcissists every single day and don't know why they do it and they've been doing it for so long. That's why um, we need to bring awareness. It's not their fault. 
is just how things are and everyone has to learn on, learn on their own so it's not really um your job to tell the next apply what's going on um with this person because even if you do they might not believe you um to be honest you shouldn't you shouldn't even have any type of contact especially if you don't have any kids or anything like that even if you have kids and if they're not if they're if they're affecting your children um in any type of way and I feel like there's always going to be either that narcissist that is there for their kid but he criticizes everything their kid does nothing's ever good enough um they have to verbally assault, uh just talk to them crazy and um belittle them or they um want their kids to be just like them it's scary because they actually enjoy that or um yeah pretty much like i feel like a, a lot of these narcissists especially men if they have boys you know and um your son is not very um he's not into sports and things like that um they'll they'll bully them for the for just being different or for being a gentleman to their mothers and stuff like that um they want them to be womanizers and that's when you can really see what type of person you're dealing with like they're telling so yeah they'll be in a competition with your children they'll tell their own kids that they can do certain things better than them um you know just they'll talk they'll talk down on their children um vice versa even um narcissist mothers as well um it sucks when you have two narcissist parents or just one either either or um because you really um mess up your children so when you have kids with these people um they're doing the same thing they're messing your children up sometimes you're actually better um raising your kids on your own and um being happy um letting karma work on them and um not worrying about if they're not being there for you financially um just going about your way living your life like i said um all the seeds that you've planted and all the good you've done um though it, you're you're bound to reap what you sow and you're going to sprout i mean you're going to blossom but you have to get away from all that energy these men these women they prey on the weak um they're constantly um chasing people trying to break them it's all about breaking new people breaking new um um supply um they don't prefer you because you're younger or they don't prefer the person they used to be with they just need supply they don't need anything else and eventually as they age um all the people that they used to validate them aren't going to be there anymore so you'll hear a lot of these older men that like to brag about how they used to be how their life was um how they used to live a fast life they reminisce about the past they're dreamers they like to dream a lot and they like to um snatch your dreams out of your hand but you're not going to let them stop you 
They're mad at you because you're young still. They're mad at you because you're, um, you have a good heart and, um, people are attracted to the goodness in you. Once you separate yourself, you'll find that some people don't stay in your life forever. It's scary to let go. A year might go by, two years might go by. It's scary to let go, but you are not you are not to be with someone who doesn't respect you or who doesn't even know what a relationship is because they um use people literally if your primary supply if the narcissist has left you for someone um that new person is nothing but literally um I hate to say this but they're like a cum rag um they don't narcissists don't have feelings they want to get into their fantasy Uh, and Some of them, you might end up kind of seeing it when you're being sexual with them. They might do things that you never wanted to do, or um, they might say stuff, or they might joke around with you about having a threesome with another man and woman, or they might say something kinky to you one day and then just play it off, but you should really believe them. Believe, pay attention to the signs, pay attention to everything. Um... Everything um, is literally a learning lesson. You'll be able to read people easier. Um, you wouldn't let no one um, come and just fog up your vision. They wanted to fog up your vision, your vision of success, your vision of living a healthy and a loving life feel joyful life they want it to mess all that up only a miserable person can do that and they're not going to change for anyone those explosive episodes that they have they can't help themselves and not everyone's going to react the same so the only person that should be careful um is the narcissist because they end up destroying themselves in the end. So I hope this video resides with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, For um, the people who are more experienced, um, let these women know, these younger women know that they never change. Um, Don't be jealous. They don't love anyone. Younger women don't feel, because you're young, that the narcissist has spent their life with someone and you're the next fresh thing because they'll suck the life out of you. And next thing you know it, they're with the next young thing. So know that these people don't love anyone. Support one another. We're all women. We're all here to stick together. Um as well as men and understand that there's men out there that are also dealing with this type of hurt and pain. Um, You know, whoever you are, you know, if you're a man or woman, straight or gay, um, there's just so many issues in this world. But one issue that we have is the battle between evil and good. And we have to put our pride and our egos to the side and um, stand as one, as good people who won't judge anyone. Because um, once we judge, we are being judged. And um, I wish you guys the best. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys. Well, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.